friends, actually. Hello, if you are new to my channel, if you found me through my video on the first of the year, which was decluttering my closet, part one of the bedroom declutter, welcome. Hello, I'm very glad you are here. Welcome to my home as I go through the only resolution I have made this year, which is to have less stuff because it's weighing me down. On my last video, if you have not watched that, I will put it up here in the card. I hope that's the correct corner. <laughs> if not, you all can laugh at me. Um, but on my last video, I said that my, my style was changing a little bit and a lot of people wondered, um, like if I was gonna be more modern or if I just wasn't gonna post about style anymore. And to both of those things, I'm going to say no. <laughs> I'm not necessarily becoming more modern style. I think I'm just relaxing a little bit in terms of style and seeking out styles that are still vintage inspired but more along the fairy tale, slow living, um, think like Hobbit meets Outlander style, but red because I really like red. Mostly I just want it to all be a lot more comfortable. It's still going to be vintage inspired, it's just not going to be like strictly 50s like it has been. The thing that I seek here the most on my channel is to be genuine and um, I'm sharing that journey with all of you. So if you came here from my first video, you will know that this is going to be a series. I decided to name it Confessions of an Emotional Hoarder because that's what I am and I'm sure I will be telling you guys a lot about myself as I do these videos. Um, I am overwhelmed by the kindness in 90% of the com 99% of the comments that I got. I am so glad that it inspired so many of you to let go of the things that were holding you down and to feel okay with the changes that were happening in your own life. That is like the ultimate reason that I have my channel and I share such personal things is because I want others, especially other moms, to not feel alone. So to know that so many of you felt seen and encouraged and less ashamed of your own messes or cluttered closets or whatever it is that you were deciding to let go. So, so many of you said you sat down and watched my video and then paused halfway through to go work on your own pile while you continue to watch, which I'm, I'm so proud of you. Um, thank you for all of the kind comments and I'm so glad you're here. As you all know, this is part two of the bedroom series in decluttering my household. And as I set up to film today, I realized that it's probably gonna be like three or four parts just in the bedroom because I don't know how I can go through all of this in just two videos. So today we're gonna work on this wall. We're gonna work on the dresser. We're gonna work on the... I don't know if you can see the shelf. I think you can, it's behind my head. Uh, we're gonna empty out the side table. We're gonna empty out, there's a dresser drawer that has non-clothing items in it that I'm gonna empty out. Um, and I'm just gonna focus on all of that that is behind me besides the hats because again, I know that's gonna be a really hard thing for me to let go of and that might just have its own video. I don't think so, but. And then in the third video, if I can do it in just three, I will t t turn around, show you the other side of the room, declutter the other side of the room, and then we can move on to the rest of the house. But for all of you who are here to see the decluttering, this is part two of I don't know how many parts of a series of me getting rid of stuff because I'm an emotional hoarder. And if you are also an emotional hoarder, welcome. Welcome to the chaos. <laughs> if you are not, welcome to the chaos. I should probably get started because I'm stalling. I hope that you enjoy this and I hope that it encourages you. Grab yourself a cup of tea, it's probably going to be another long video.
Before pile of everything that was on my dresser and in those drawers I wanted to make the really quick point that I'm not unashamed of the, the way things have become in my house people on the internet seem to think that just because I'm showing it means I don't care and I do care very much um, it's the, the way that my house has overtaken my life is a point of shame for me that has prevented me from having people over, it's prevented me from filming, it's prevented me from a lot of things because I'm just so, so acutely aware of every pile that you can ever see in any shot ever. And so when people comment things, like the commenter who said it was a a waste of my money and it was it was you know so sad that I'm just letting things go for a couple of bucks I sit there and I think back to every comment I've ever gotten on one of my housewife videos from someone shaming me because I have too much stuff and I would just want to say to the both of those people don't you understand the mental weight of living with a disorder like ADHD and knowing that other people can see the symptoms of it but they don't understand and they don't care they don't care to understand they don't care to walk a mile in your shoes and all they do is judge the external symptoms one of which is having a lot of stuff uh, people with ADHD are drawn to bring things in and they put them away and then they're out of sight and out of mind and so they get more things or drawn to the 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 boost that it gives your brain to shop and get something new and fun until suddenly here you are in a house like mine that I'm honestly cringing that I'm even sharing this with the internet <laughs> but I think it needs to be shared because I know a lot of people feel like this. Honestly, I debated for a while whether I even wanted to share this part of my life with the internet. Um, because people moralize mess. They see a mess and they think that that person must be 
lazy or careless or um, bad in some way and really things are just things. Mess is just mess. Often it can be a symptom of something like ADHD but they're just things and I am acutely aware that my life would be better without all of these things which is why I'm sharing this and which is why I've shared every cleaning video I've ever shared and every organizing video I've ever shared because I have been trying to get to the place where I felt comfortable letting go of these things that brought me happiness at one point. I find it ridiculous to shame people for having mess or having clutter because you never know what's going on with their life. Back when I made the housekeeping video that I got a lot of comments on about my clutter, I was desperately trying to get to the place I am now and I was depressed and I was in a new place and I didn't know anybody and I was stuck at home without a car and even if I had cleared out my house, I didn't have a way to get it out of my house. And that was even more depressing. And I was only just coming to realize then that I have ADHD and that a lot of the things that I had beat myself up for over the years where I told myself I was lazy and I wasn't motivated enough and I wasn't strict enough with myself and I wasn't, you know, I didn't have the, the ability to keep house like people should. Um, I had only just started to learn that those things weren't because I wasn't enough, it was because I have ADHD and my brain works differently and I didn't know how to get around that. So, um, anyway, all of that to say, <laughs> I am sharing a very personal part of my life, a very, a part of my life that has filled me with a lot of shame over the years because I want, I, I, I just know that somewhere someone else is going to see this and feel a little less alone and I think that's important because I needed someone to tell me that I was less alone or that I wasn't alone and so now I'm hoping I can be that for someone and I hope the rest of you just enjoy watching me declutter and freshen up my life and finally get to the place where I'm healthy enough mentally to let go of all of these things that are weighing me down and um you know or just enjoy the makeover if that's what you're here for.
can see at the end of the day, my lipstick is worn off, but I am finished. Um, wow, it feels weird. Uh, a couple of you mentioned that you wanted to see my decluttering piles, like what I was getting rid of in my last video and I had forgotten that I've actually, I took some footage of that. So here's the footage of my last declutter piles. Okay, so I know that this doesn't look super organized, but kind of like here over is donate or that's a sell shirt. And then this middle pile from like there to there is try on after I have the baby. <laughs> and this big pile is sell. And then this little pile on the floor is keep. And then I have some stuff on the bed to keep, which I'm currently working on putting in the closet. And then I will show you what I have pulled out this time. First of all, let's just go with the garbage. Surprisingly to me, there's not as much garbage as I expected. It was just one little Walmart bag, but I'm sure as I get into the rest of the bedroom, it will be worse because it always is. Um, then as far as knickknacks go, I got rid of all of these. Some of these are going to go to a friend who I think will like them if she wants them. I'm going to ask first. I'm not just going to send her some junk. But um, I got rid of mostly what I got rid of what are things that they're pretty, but they're not really doing much. The pretty things that I did keep are functional, which is what I'm going for. Um, so far as jewelry, the this is the the little container of vintage jewelry that I got rid of. I will probably just sell it all in a lot, but I did get rid of quite a bit. I actually emptied out so many containers. I didn't even show you all of the containers of my jewelry, but I got rid of five of these, as well as emptying out this, which was full, and this, which was full, and I think I... I basically emptied out two or three other pieces and I'm also going to just donate these. I got them at the thrift store and back to the thrift store they go. Um, and then the last bin I got rid of is this one which is not full full but it's got a lot of jewelry in it. But this is mainly that's garbage. Um, jewelry, uh, this whole bin is just going to go to the thrift store because it's newer jewelry that I've offloaded. Um, things like this, which are very pretty, but they're not useful. Um, but yeah, that is, the, that is the decluttering pile for this video. That was this video. Um, I know that these aren't very aesthetic looking videos because my bedroom is currently not <laughs> aesthetic. Uh, but I do have hopes to redo the bedroom once everything is decluttered. I have the rule for myself that I'm not allowed to bring in any new storage bins. I'm not allowed to buy anything new for this room until I'm done uh, decluttering everything. So <laughs> the last video did really well, shockingly well to me. Um, it actually, every time I check, it surprises me. And if this whole series does as well as that first video, then I will definitely be able to redo the bedroom. I would love to paint it. You could probably see in a few shots that I have some green swatches on the wall, which I hate. Uh, I would love to paint the bedroom and just rearrange and, and get new bedding and all of that fun stuff. But for now, my rule is not no bringing in new storage. I'm just using the things that I have. And then once I have decluttered, I will figure out what I actually need and maybe redo the bedroom. But for now, that was this video. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it. I am done with the dresser, the side table, the shelf. I don't know how many parts there will be to the bedroom. Um, next I'm going to be tackling the demon shelf behind me and the other side of the room, which should be easier because it's mostly my husband's stuff and he can get rid of his own things. Um, so actually there's probably only going to be one more part to the bedroom, but thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. If you are new, I hope that you stick around and join me in this decluttering journey. I already feel so much calmer even though I've only gotten half the bedroom done. 
it just feels so good not to have drawers overflowing and shelves overflowing and a dresser overflowing and a bed overflowing and the corner is clean. They, I have a whole corner in this bedroom that I haven't seen in six months and there's nothing in it now. <sighs> um, and I hope you enjoyed joining me in decluttering today and I will see you next time. That's not my outro. I hope that wherever you are, you are feeling safe and loved. And until I see you again, have a beautiful day and thank you for watching. Bye.